Bobby, you're the expert. You're the guy who's perceived to be the guy that, um, you know, you're blogging about it. You're in, you're writing about it in Forbes magazine. I, I want to ask you for all my listeners, where is the music industry headed? Where are the income streams for musicians going to come from in the future? Oh, I love to talk about this. This is great. Thanks for asking. Uh, if you read any articles on the internet, newspapers, magazines, whatever, uh, you get the feeling that the music business is in trouble and it's, it's worse off than it's ever been. And I want to tell you that's far from the truth. Last year, if you take into account all of the money that the music industry generated and, and uh, talking, um, from recorded music, publishing concerts, merchandise, licensing, all of those things, all those aspects. If, if you globally take all those and put them together, you find that last year the music business actually made more money than ever before. Now, does it all trickle down to musicians? No. Mm -hmm. But that being said, there's plenty of money out there, and it's going to get better. One of the, Out of all those that I mentioned, recorded music is probably the worst off because – well, in the United States, anyway, uh, CD sales are down 78% from their their height, mm -hmm. their peak, and, and they're not coming back. But that being said, uh, streaming music is about to be a huge boon for the whole entire industry. Now, once again, it's gotten a bad rap because there's a number of people, and, uh, songwriters and, and artists, that say, well... I just got 3 million plays and I made $25. Uh, but that's not the case. The case is, it, yes, they probably made $25, but the, the streams themselves probably generated quite a bit more than that. Unfortunately, there was somebody in the middle that was taking the majority of it, mm -hmm. which is usually the way it works. All of the predictions say that the, the, streaming er the streaming area is going to explode and we're only seeing like 6% of music consumers really involved in it or paying for it right now. But uh, if it goes the way the predictions say within five years, the music industry in general should be healthier than it's ever been. So from the standpoint that the music business looks like it's hurting, it's not as bad as you think it is, and it's sure going to get a lot better pretty soon. So uh, I'm one of, of the few voices in, in the wilderness that, that I think are saying this, is saying, wait a second, I, you know, better days are, are ahead and they're going to be here pretty soon. The ones that tend to complain are the ones that are tied into the old school way of doing business. Mm -hmm. And that's changed and that's not coming back. So if you were, you know, waiting for mailbox money from publishers for, you know, a record that you did, a CD that you did in 1985, then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And they're in 1995 even, you know, that's, you're in trouble. That's, that's changed. You, you have to change the way music, the music business is today. And the music business today is, is digital. Absolutely. 